Hey people, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. This is me Ashwin and in this video, <coughs> excuse me. Well, thank you. So, as I was telling, in this video, we're going to see how to build a two-wheel robot with a robotic arm in front, which can pick and place things. So, let's get started. Okay, so there are many types of pick and place robots available in the industry and most of them are used in very big warehouses for moving big packages. But what we have built here is a very simple two-wheeled robot with a robotic arm in front of it. Even this is a miniature two degree of freedom robotic arm with just three servo motors. And the base here, which you can uh, see over here with two wheels, is previously used in a lot of projects. We even built a human following robot with this exactly same base. I'll put the link for that somewhere over here if you're interested. Now coming back to our project, the main thing in this project is this uh, robotic arm which you can see over here. So we started the project by designing this one on Onshape. As you can see here, the complete 3D model was done on Onshape and then we used K40 Whisperer to send it to our laser cutting machine and cut the required acrylic parts. Once the parts were cut, we assembled the robotic arm using the required nuts, bolts and spacers and just like that our miniature robotic arm is ready. Now we didn't get this working in the first try and we had to go through a lot of failed iterations to get this one working but the final one seems to have no problems with gripping stuff and lifting it with ease. So that being said, like always, we have our complete design for the gripper as well as the robot on our Thingiverse page. You can directly download it from there. Now let's take a look at the hardware components used in this project. Okay, so to make things more easy to understand, we have separated the gripper part from the actual uh, robot. So let's come back to the gripper later. Let me uh, fully tell what are the components present on the robot over here. So the chasis has two parts. In the middle of these two parts, you can see we have placed our battery, which powers our entire circuitry. And on this side, we have our Arduino Uno, the buck regulator and the L298 motor driver module. And then the HC05 Bluetooth module, which is uh, used to communicate with our Android application. And then we have used normal uh, DC motors over here uh, with normal uh, motor wheels. This complete kit is uh, acrylic cut, even this one is cut out of acrylic. And then in our uh, base itself, we have an option to mount a servo motor. So the front part, uh, which is the robotic arm, actually uses three servo motors. It would be mounted like this. We have three servo motors, one over here, the other one over here, and the third one is for the gripper over here. Now, as you can see, uh, we have used a hot glue on all the nuts and bolts to prevent them from slipping when the robot is working. Apart from that, it's a very pretty or uh, simple design. We have just used some extension board here to distribute the power supply between the servo motors, the L298 module and everything. So on the robotic arm construction side, there is nothing much complicated again. You can find the complete design for this in the link at the description. So you can see the complete circuit diagram that we have used for our robot over here and the main brain of this robot is the Orino Uno and then we have three uh, servo motors for the robotic arm in front and then we have uh, two DC motors for the wheels of the robot and then we have the HC05 which acts as a Bluetooth module so we will be controlling this robot using Bluetooth and then we have the buck voltage regulator module and a lithium battery for powering the whole setup. So coming to the software side we need two things one is an android application to control our robot and the other one is the Arduino code now for the android application we have built this one using the mit app inventor it is just a very simple app with few buttons which can be used to control the robotic car as well as the gripper i will also show you how it is done on mit app inventor 
So this is the layout of our app. You can see it just has few buttons for gripper, shoulder and waist. And by pressing these buttons, we can control the gripper and the robotic car. And we have enabled Bluetooth on this app. And then for this code for how this communicates with our Arduino, you can find it on uh, our section over here. So this is the blocks of code which we have used for our application to communicate with our Arduino Uno HC05. So that's it. It's pretty much simple. I'm not going to go into the details of it. Okay, moving on, let's see the Arduino code for our project. So this is the complete Arduino code that we have used for our robot. Let me start from the top. So we have used three servo motors, namely motor one, motor two, and motor three. And then we have two DC motors, which is controlled by the L298 motor driver. And then we are defining the initial position for our servo motors at 90, 0, and 90 respectively. Uh, that being said, we have attached three servos. Uh, one is a waist servo for the robotic arm and the next is the shoulder servo and the last one is the gripper servo. Now, what to just to quickly show you a demo, you can see the bottom most one is called the waist and then this one is the shoulder. Uh, this one is the shoulder and then we have our gripper over here and then over here inside our loop function we have a variable called bt data which gets uh, data from the hc05 from our mobile application and if this data is one we'll make our robot to move forward that is if one uh, the, if, if a particular button is pressed we'll get one and that will make the robot to move forward similarly we have a backward turn left turn right and stop we have five such uh, functions being defined i will show them later so for example if we receive the data three then the robot will turn left if we receive the data two the robot will move backward so likewise we have defined different functions for a specific number that we would receive from our bluetooth module so this is pretty much a very simple program there is nothing much complicated that being said we have our Arduino code ready and we also have our android application ready let's upload this code to our robot and see how it works. If you like what you see, then please do consider subscribing to our channel and I will see you in the next one.